so this is Jules, my hamster. Here she is, she just woke up. I was cleaning her cage and I wanted to show you a video that I made about two months ago of her going to the vet. Now she went to the vets because her urine started to smell really, really bad, like so rancid. It made me actually very sick. And she smelled at my whole house and I was worried I thought something wrong with her. And I talked to other people with hamsters and they said it's not really normal for her to smell that bad so suddenly. You know, I cleaned her cage, I cleaned her litter box, and it still really reeked. I was using sand uh, for her litter box, and I never changed the brand or anything like that. And you want to go in your cage? Okay, I'm going to put her back in just a second. She just woke up when I cleaned her cage. Anyways, I want to take you along with my um, journey to the vet. I want to show you what it looks like to have an exam. I'm going to put her back. Here, baby, go in here. I'll show you her set up in a minute. So I wanted to show you how an exam goes on a hamster. So I was worried she had a urinary tract infection because being a female and all that she could have some kind of uh, ovary problem or urinary tract in problem or anything. She is a year and a half old so I get very paranoid of my pets and I take them to the vet. So I want to show you her trip to the vet and what it looks like. Here I am waking her up from her enclosure and going to put her in her carrier cage. All right, so we're at the vets and Jules is just uh, <laughs> eating in her sleep. It's so cute. We're just waiting for the vet to call us into the exam room. It's now time to go into the vet's office. And I don't see any discharge like near like pus like discharge around her her vulva or anything like that. Yeah, I always checked that and she was always clean until we saw a spot today, but maybe just because she's in there and scared and stuff. I love you. I, love you. I, love you. I love you. How do you check their urine if they don't pee? And all this and all, I wouldn't just blindly stick. And I mean, like if we do a free catch where she just pees, we yes. can sometimes use that. But right. there's always risk of contamination. And then if you see bacteria, mm. like is this from where it dropped oh. on or is it actually coming from her bladder, right? Right. So it's hard to rule out a UTI in that aspect. Mm -hmm. um, stones can be sometimes caught on an x-ray. Mm -hmm. um, same thing with cancer too. But I feel like just because of the chronicity of her signs... It sounds to me like it's a UTI, and I think it deserves uh, an empiric uh, trial of antibiotics to try to treat yes, it. Yes, yes. Um, to get rid of the infection, because it does smell kind of infected. It's just, it's very horrible. Yeah. Um, how, how would I give her those antibiotics? Is it, is it um, liquid? It will be a liquid, and it will oh. be oral um, oh. in her mouth. Mm -hmm. um, usually, it's going to be out of a syringe, so if you can get her to put it in her mouth, then you just have to put it in and get her to swallow it. Yeah. Some people have success. It's not... I mean, and we can show you how to do it with her first dose today once we make yes, it up. Yes, yes. Um, but, I mean, most animals don't like them. But we do right. try to cover the, the taste with a flavoring agent, like either oh, tutti okay. frutti or banana or something Maybe like that. Maybe she'll like it and lick it? Yeah. yeah. Um, but sometimes they still taste it underneath. Oh. But, um, like would I hold her from the scruff and just, just stuck, stick it in her mouth? probably the easiest yeah. way because she'll just kind of move and probably push it away. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. yeah, I would say scruffing is probably the same. Yeah, so just hold her back there. It doesn't hurt yeah. her, right? And then the ground like pull this, her, so just to her. keep her still. And then yes. just kind of put it in Oh, there. okay. That looks yeah. easy enough. And once a day or? Uh, it depends on the medication. I have to figure out which one will fit her size better. But right. it's either going to be once or twice a day. Right. Right. All right. Okay, good. Thank you. Here you go, Jules. We'll see if that works. And how long will the antibiotics be for? Uh, that also depends on, which um, one? on the which one I, I can get size for. It okay. can be either a 7-day course or it might even be a 10 or a 14-day course. Okay. <laughs> go. okay so, so I'm home from the vet now and Jules is sleeping. And so I have to give her a medication which is called Betro. I have to give it to her orally. So that's going to be kind of interesting. I have to scruff her a little bit by the neck and uh, give it to her in her mouth and maybe she'll like it maybe she'll just uh, lick it up so we'll see how that goes and the vet told me to get rid of all her bedding for now and just to line the bin cage with paper towel and some Kleenex for her for her hides when she sleeps and that way I can monitor her urine you know how much she's going and what it looks like so he said the urine should look kinda like yellow yellowy and maybe a little bit red but not so, uh, you know, if, if there's blood in it, it will be red, but sometimes the urine can be a little bit reddish depending on what she eats. 
So he said, if I see dark red in it every day, um, and I'm not feeding her anything with red in it, that could mean that she did have a, a UTI, a urinary tract infection. So I have to dump all this out and just put the paper towels in there. And hopefully she's okay, you know, to sleep because she loves to burrow deep down in her bedding. So I'm going to do that now and put her in her bin cage. Right, so I put in the paper towel in the bottom of her cage. And now I can, you know, watch her urine output and see what it looks like, see what color it is. She probably won't be happy because she can't really burrow, but I got some Kleenex here for her. She can shove in there if she wants to. And now I'm going to give her some medication. All right, so it's medication time. So it's just really quick. You got to grab her scruff just like that and get the syringe in the corner. Look at her holding it. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> and she licked it. So I think she kind of likes the flavor. I wonder if she'll take it on her own. Well, she's already finished it, but maybe tomorrow I'll see if she'll take it on her own. So that's how I give her medication. Just give her a little scruff, put it in the corner of her mouth, and she licked it up. All right, now I'm gonna put her in. Let's see what she does. I feel bad that she can't burrow, the poor little thing. There we go, baby. Get some fresh water and some fresh food, fresh litter. There's your little house. Yeah, I'm sure she, she will grab that Kleenex and go in there and sleep. Right, girl? All right, we'll see how she is um, tomorrow. All right, so I did have to give her the medication and everything went well. She took it like a champ. I did, you know, scrub her. Some days I didn't have to. I just kind of held her and uh, she took it with uh, no problem. That was my first time giving uh, medication to a hamster. So I was a little bit nervous, but I'm used to it now. So she finished her medication and she has to go back for a follow-up. Has her urine. It's still a little bit smelly. But since I switched the, the litters, actually the smell kind of went away. So I'm thinking it's kind of normal for older hamsters to smell like that. But anyways, I wanted to show you the x-rays of her second visit, so let's have a look here. Alright, so it's just over two weeks after Jules um, have stopped taking her medication and her urine still smells. But the other day, sorry, your cage is a little bit messed because I cleaned it four days ago. And anyways, I changed her litter to her uh, critter litter. And then honestly, it doesn't smell like that. Maybe she didn't even pee in here. But yeah, she did. So I don't even smell it. Maybe it was the litter, but I've been using sand like for all her life and it never smelled before. And so since I've had the paper towel here, I haven't seen any urine anywhere else but in her, uh, her potty box. And that's her little hide there. So she's going to the vet today. I'm actually leaving in a few minutes. So she's going for a follow-up. Now, I did tell the vet her urine still smells really rancid, but since I switched the litter, it's not too bad, so I don't know what happened. The sand was the same, but maybe it's coincidence or she's the same. So anyways, look at this little pile that she's made there. That's her little house. So I have to wake her up. Aww, there she is. And I think it'll probably be safe that I can give her some uh, bedding again, maybe just on the one side. She likes to stay on one side and barrel or burrow underneath. Hi Jules, sorry to wake you up. But we go to the go to the vet. So the vet did say if she didn't improve that um, he would do an x-ray and what they do is they give him a little bit of anesthetic and for a few seconds and take an x-ray. Wait a minute, there she is. Is she a sweetie pie or what? And her bottom looks okay. She looks pretty good for her age. All right, so I'm gonna put her in the carrier. So we're on our way to the vet. We should be there in about 15 minutes or so, not even. All right, so here's uh, one x-ray, one view. Look at her, she looks like she's huge, eh? You can see all her bones and it's very interesting. Those are intestines and that's just gas. And if there were stones, they'd be able to be seen here, like it would be bright white you know dots or circles or whatever shape the stones would be but they would be down in this area and that's that's clear 
So they did take one on the side, but she kind of moved, so it's a little bit blurry. But this one, she stayed still. And originally they said they would sedate her for a few seconds, but they didn't have to. She was pretty good on her back. But since they didn't see any, they didn't really see. They would be able to see the white, you know, show up really, really bright. But there's nothing there. So isn't that interesting? So overall, there was nothing really wrong with Jules. <laughs> Did you see her x-rays? That was pretty neat. I really liked looking at them. So I'm really glad we didn't find anything in her x-rays. And overall, she's, she's pretty normal. She doesn't have any other symptoms or, or problems. You know, she's just an older hamster. But she's doing well. It's been a few months now. And I still use the paper towel uh, on the bottom of her bin just to check her urine. But she really doesn't urinate out of, out of her litter box. She goes in her litter box. I change it off and I don't smell anything because the new uh, critter litter, I find it amazing. I don't smell anything from her at all. And so maybe it was just normal for her. How she ages, it starts to smell. Let me know if you have a hamster and if your hamsters start to smell when they get over a year and a half or over a year or older. So let me know if you had that problem and what you've done to uh, avoid the smell or to get rid of the smell. So I wanted to uh, show you something while if you Stay to the end of my video. I want to show you that I got another hamster. I got a new hamster. He's really cute. I named him uh, Q-Tip. So I'm going to show you hamster just in a moment. I'm going to show you Jules um, in her cage. And uh, if she, where is she? Well, if I can find her. So I'm going to show you Jules and then I'm going to show you my new hamster. So hang on. All right, so there's Jules. Oh, she's getting a drink of water. So I still got the paper towel on one end and I put some of the bedding on this side here on the right side but she always sleeps on the left side so that's where I put her bedding and her two little tunnels there and she has her wheel. Hi sweetie, I know you're going to go to bed now, huh? You got a nice clean cage. Yeah, so I still keep an eye on her to make sure she's alright and, and check her uh, urine. So I'm going to show you my new hamster now. And this is Q-Tip, my new short-haired Syrian male hamster. He's six weeks old in this video. He's cleaning himself really cutely. So cute. And he ran and ran and ran. He ran all night long the first night that I got him home. Look how small he is compared to the wheel. But he'll grow. He'll grow into the wheel. It's very important to have a very large wheel for them. And this is about today. This is three weeks later. He's nine weeks old in this video. So hope you're looking forward for more videos about him. So I want to thank you very much for watching my video. Hope you enjoyed and let me know what you think of Q-Tip. Bye!